Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Easy Tutorials, and for those of you who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. Today we'll be creating this. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to support me on Patreon. You can also get access to all my premium content. So let's start. First, let's import the files we need into After Effects. You can download the full project and all the files, including the sound effects, from the link in the description. Create a new composition and name it, Cinematic Intro. I'm using the full HD 1080 pixels preset with 30 frames per second and 15 seconds long. Bring the background file into the new composition. Create a new solid. You can use any fill color you want, it won't matter. Go to Effects and Presets panel and search for, Gradient Ramp. Apply it to your solid layer, and adjust its settings like this. Click on this icon, and place the start of ramp anchor point here. Then click here and place the end of ramp anchor point to the opposite corner. Also, you have to change the end color, to a dark grey color. Now change the solid layer's blending mode to overlay. Start creating your first text. You can use any font you want. I am using the Agency FP font, and I recommend using a white color for it. Align your text in the center of your composition, then start creating the second text. Write anything you want, be creative. Align this text too. Bring your logo into the composition. Now let's pre-compose each of them, to make it easier to edit. Name this layer, Text1. Don't forget to select, move all attributes to the new composition for each layer created. Name the second layer, Text2. And of course, this layer should be named Logo. Now, let's offset these three layers. Follow my steps. Place your playhead on the fifth second. Select the text 1 layer. Then click on Edit, Split Layer. Delete the new layer created. Select the text 2 layer, then click left bracket on your keyboard, to make it start from here. Move forward to the tenth second and split this layer too. Delete the new layer. Then select the logo layer and click your left bracket again, or simply drag its starting point here. Check these boxes, to make all your layers 3D. Now, create a new light with this settings. Light type, spot, intensity 100%, cone angle 140 degrees, cone feather 50%, shadow darkness 100%, and shadow diffusion 170 pixels. Use the X and Y axis handles, to move your light layer like this. Then grab the Z axis handle, and drag it up like this. As you can see, at this moment our text layer is flat, without any shadow. Let's change this. Open its options, click on Material Options, then switch on, Casts Shadows. Open Transform Options, and change the Z position value to minus 40. Our layer has a nice shadow now, but you can play with this value until you get even better results. Do the same with the text 2 and the logo layer 2. Now, let's animate our cinematic intro. Select your light, and press R, to open the rotation options. Create a keyframe on the Y axis rotation, 
then change its value to 110 degrees. This will make our animation begin from the right side. Move to 4 seconds and 15 frames, and change this value to minus 90 degrees. Move 15 frames forward, and click on this diamond icon to create a hold keyframe. Move forward to 9 seconds and 15 frames, and change the value to 110 degrees again. Move 15 more frames forward, and create a new hold keyframe. Then move to the 13th second, and change the Y axis rotation value to 0 degrees. Select all these keyframes, right click on one of them, and easy ease them. Now is the moment to bring the particles file into your animation composition. Place it under your spotlight layer, make it 3D, and change its blending mode to add. Now. Let's add a camera movement to our cinematic intro. Create a new camera. I am using the 35mm preset. Place it on top of your composition. Then create a new null object. And rename it, Camera Control. Grab this pick whip, and parent the camera to it. Go to the first frame of your composition. Select your camera control layer. Make it 3D. Then click P to open the position options. Create a keyframe here. Move forward to 4 seconds and 15 frames, and change this value to 300. Move 15 frames forward, and change the value back to 0. Move forward to 9 seconds and 15 frames, and change the value to 300 again. Move 15 more frames forward, and change back the value to 0. Then move your playhead to the last keyframe, and change the value to 400. Select all these keyframes, right click on one of them, and easy ease them. The last step is to bring the sound effect into your composition. Now let's see our final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create an epic cinematic intro in After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment. It would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials. Also, you can make requests for new tutorials, about interesting effects or animations that you would like to learn. See you soon.